how to fulfill orders on Shopify and Deezers. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can fulfill your orders that you receive on your Shopify store that are for a product that you imported from Deezers. So if you're doing dropshipping on Shopify, how do you navigate through that? How do you push your orders? And how can you move towards order fulfillment? So let's get into it now. As an example today, I have my store over here and if I go into my product, I have this little product that I have inserted to my store. So we have this product, yeah. So it is this product over here that I have imported and if I go into my Shopify store over here, I can click on orders. And if I take a look at my orders over here, you guys will see that this is a order for that particular dress. So once you have an order from a customer that is for a product that you are drop shipping with Deezers, what you're going to do is first off, you're going to choose whether or not this product has been paid for or if you have to pay for this later. If the product has been paid for, obviously you can move your payment forward to your supplier. However, if you are offering other payment methods like cash on delivery, your order might not be paid for. So you can choose to mark it as paid if it has been paid for later on. Now below that, you have the option of fraud analysis before you proceed with fulfillment via a supplier. So the fraud analysis for this is low, so I can fulfill this order without the risk of being defrauded. Now after that, you have two options, request fulfillment and fulfill item. Now, these are different because in a normal item, you only have the option to fulfill your item. However, for products like this, you are not fulfilling the product request yourself. Your supplier is going to be doing that. So you're going to click on request fulfillment over here. And once you do that, you can add a note to your Deezer's fulfillment request and click on send fulfillment request over here. Now, once you have sent your fulfillment request, after that, you are going to go into Deezers. And once you go into Deezers, once you have, you know, set out a fulfillment request, you should be able to go into your current open orders and you have pending orders and you have unmapped orders. So if you go into unmapped orders, any of your pending orders will be displayed over here. Now, after that, once you have, you know, moved your orders into fulfillment with Deezer, so I have requested uh, fulfillment and I'm just going to reconfirm that like this and then I'll click on open in Deezers to see what my order status looks like in Deezers. And I will click on go now over here. And once I click on go now, I should be able to view my current order like this so you guys can see on the top uh, section where we have open orders under that we have our aliexpress orders and this is the product that was ordered now there is no shipping method applied to this order please select manually so what i'm going to do is we have this order over here and what i want to do for this order is that i want to choose a shipping option so for the shipping option, let's say it's going to be standard shipping like this, and I'll just select that and click on confirm. Once I've done that, I can move into the next step, which is to actually send this order to the supplier. So to do that, you can click on order over here, and you have the option of order via API or order via Chrome extension. You're going to click on order via API, and then after that, you're going to click on confirm. Now, once you click on confirm over here, your order is going to be moved into the next step of fulfillment where it is going to be purchased. So if you click on confirm over here, you will see your order is being placed right now. And then after that, you have awaiting payment. Now, once you have the order in the evading payment section, from here, you can click on payment. And now this will show you how you want to pay for your order and you can make the payment for your order. Obviously, if this is a order that was bought with a debit or credit card, then it is going to be a order which you can pay for instantly. 
And if you have the cash on delivery option available, you will have to make sure that you are able to offer up the initial investment to purchase the product and send it to your customer. So once the customer receives it, then you would receive your payment. Now, after you have completed payment, you have a couple of different steps, such as evading shipment. So once payment is processed, the shipment is going to be made to your customer. And you have fulfillment. So after that, once the orders have been fulfilled, that means they're on their way to the customer. And then fulfilled orders are orders that have been shipped out by the suppliers and that were that are currently just almost gonna reach the reach your customers. And this might also include completed orders. After that, you have any canceled or filled orders. So in this way, you can get started with managing your fulfillment with Deezers and Shopify. Now, this can be applicable for any other dropshipping supplier as well. So if you're doing this with CJ Dropshipping or any other supplier, you can follow these same steps to receive a similar result for your supplier fulfillment. So you do have to keep in mind that you do have to make your payment on your own when you are on these third-party suppliers as well. Plus, keep in mind your orders can't be customized once they are placed in most situations. So whenever you have a order that has, you know, five different items and they place those five items in two different orders, you can choose to merge those orders to reduce packing, to reduce shipping costs as well, and can be a great way for you to make sure that all of your products are received timely by your customers. Now, if you are looking for simple fulfillment of your order, or if an order is canceled at right after it has been placed with you, you're going to go into orders and then click on cancel request to cancel your fulfillment request. So you can cancel an order like that as well. Or if a customer is still in consideration, you can also cancel their order. If you want to fulfill a Shopify order that is a regular product, for that just click on fulfill item and then enter a tracking number and a shipping carrier and that is all you have to do to fulfill your own regular items. Just click on print packing slip on the top and you are going to slap that label on your packing sheets and that is all you have to do for your own personal fulfillment from orders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with fulfilling orders on Shopify with Deezers. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.